The reception was well enticed, spiced and delivered in time as Kenya Lionesses arrived at the Jomo Kenyatta National Airport, Nairobi. They joined the dancers even though they don't feel it. But the pain behind the smiling faces is real. You're leaving your place. Some of the players have kids. They have needs. And you're leaving your place. Uh, landlord amefunga nyumbayako. You're going to compete for your country. And what you work on food. You're going there just to fight for your country without anything. It was so painful. Uh, like on Friday before we went for competition, we had nothing. Not even traveling kits. And that is the state of the nation when it comes to women in sports. A state which leaves a number of questions as to why these teams are neglected. Everybody is celebrating. Everybody is happy. But how about the player? When I may fight to the last minute to qualify for this Olympic thing. So we ask government, at a president who, wherever you are, please skiz our players. Despite flying the Kenyan flag high and putting the country on the world map, the country has not reciprocated, and instead the mood is that of frustration and despair. It's always to use the sport to change the lives of these girls. And it's quite a shame that uh, we are not seeing that. As a society, we are not seeing that. It's not only rugby. Just the other day, we were seeing news from starlets, we were seeing news from basketball. The Kenya Lionesses have qualified for the 2020 Olympics, and the African Queens hope that the country will impress them and acknowledge these achievements. Jeff Mogire, KT News.